You are listening to You listening to You listening to You listening to Noel Johnson Noel Johnson Noel Johnson on Lockdown 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 Radio 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 Lockdown Radio Live today Lockdown Radio right. It's time to talk to Sheldon. He's an avid performer, world class singer, songwriter, front man, and he's taken the industry by storm with his ability to draw and hold crowds. A showman of notes and with over 25 years of experience in the industry, Sheldon has traveled around the globe, gaining, gaining experience and entertaining a vast variety of cultures. Sheldon also writes and performs his own original music and has worked with many other artists on their projects as well. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to Sheldon Disimpern. Why are you fighting with a uh, weed eater? Hey Noel, how are you doing? Thank you so much for having me on your show today. Hey Noel, yeah, it's been, I think, a little bit more than crazy. I think everybody's going a bit crazy at the moment. It's very frustrating because the garden service is on here, so... Um, you know they come every week, so now we've got to get this uh, get this lawn back to back to its original state. Otherwise, it's going to be like the Armageddon end of the world, everything overgrown. Um, yeah, it's it's been challenging, I must say. Uh, I think for everybody, especially for the well, I think generally for everybody, but uh, especially it's taking its toll on the musicians because you know we do music full time, and um, now there's suddenly no work; it's all dried up. So being creative, I think, is the key right now. Um, you know, we've got a bit more time on our hands to do that. And at the same time, try and be as calm as possible, realizing you know, that there's bills to be paid and, you know, mm. things still need to be done around around the house and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, yeah, it's, I think, remaining positive over this time, keeping calm um, and just, uh, you know, waking up and appreciating everything that we do have. I think is is the key, hey. Um, so yeah, that's where that's where my head's at. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Now tell me, let's talk to you about um, this whole lockdown thing and and what we go through. Life as we know it has changed, and um, no more relevant to anybody else than musicians. You know, no, that is exactly it. And the craziest thing of all is, you know, I mean, I was just saying to the missus as well that. Um, you know, we, we take so much for granted and, and when something like this hits us, it's like, what? You know, you only see this type of thing in a movie or a zombie mm. apocalypse or makes you realize so many things on so many levels, actually. Um, it kind of wakes you up big time um, that, that we're not invincible, that we do take a lot for granted, that anything can happen at any time uh, that com- can completely throw the whole world out, completely throw your own entire world out in a second. Um, so, you know, I think to a certain extent it's a good thing. It wakes people up. Um, it's a scary thing as well. Um, for me personally, it is. I mean, you know, the type of person I am is it's it's very scary because you know, at the end of the day, you know, you got to live in reality. Still, things have to be done. Bills have to be paid. Um, you know, trying to adapt to all of this, staying at home, trying to keep busy uh, without your mind running away from you is, is a big thing, you know, and you've got to stick to the rules. I mean, you've got to stay at home. You can't just go to the beach and you can't just do anything. You've got to stick to the rules of, of the land. Um, so it's very trying at the moment. But, um, yeah, I, I think learning from this is a good thing. I think it's a ton of positive stuff that's going to come out of this. I th- I think these types of things are really good because they can only, you know, they can only teach you and and, and wake you up. Um, so yeah, but it is challenging nonetheless. You know, funny you mentioned that because I've mentioned it a few times on my show during the last few weeks that uh, a lot of what's happening at the moment could actually be a bit of a blessing in disguise. And I had a long chat with Dave Romero about finances last week, and you know, it's almost as if the lockdown has created a, a reset button for the for the financial community and possibly for other things in life as well and maybe even the music industry now what key learnings can a normal human being someone who doesn't do music um and secondly a musician what key learnings can we take away from this time that we're going through okay so i would say the first thing noel is uh, I'm speaking from my, my, my perspective and opinion. Um, 
Um, I'm a believer in God, so for me, number one is um, trusting and keeping firm and strong in difficult times. Um, and I think connect for me and for a lot of people that do share um, share my faith is, um, you know, is um, that these things are good for you. They, the, the trials and the errors, the difficulties are there to teach you, to make you humble, to make you more compassionate. But I think it's also key that you learn in these times to plan to plan ahead and to mm. create other avenues, whether it be for the average man on the street to become more dynamic in what he is. So not to just put his eggs in one basket. If You know, I'm talking about the average man, yes, and not the man that has the big companies or the government bodies that are still earning the big salaries, that are not thinking like that. I'm talking about your average majority person. I think um, we have so much capability and potential as human beings that we haven't even tapped into without being too OTT or spiritual about it. But just as human beings, we are, you know, incredible creatures that have really misused our talents so much um, or sat on them or, or not believed in ourselves enough. That's a fact, you know, and we're always relying on it could be or wait for the better day to happen or this or that. So I think from out of this answering your question, uh, from the average man, I think it's to possibly plan a little bit better for times like this uh, in some ways. Um, uh, find faith in God if you don't know who God is. Put your trust in God. Um, um, for me personally, God has always brought me through every difficulty and always brought me up on top. Um, so I can speak from that from my side. And I say um, for musicians, find other af avenues. Find... Um, other avenues to earn money as an artist, maybe go into voiceovers, maybe go into, um, you know, um, yeah, there's many avenues you can go into. Session musicianship, if you're a vocalist, opt for session um, backup vocals or opt for session musos and other things. Check out all the entertainment industry platforms that there are. So I say be wary, be cautious, be full of faith, be strong. Um, this is a good lesson. This is a good thing. This COVID-19 has shown the entire world that you're not invincible, that the whole world can shut down at any time, any time again. Mm. I think, yeah, proper planning, investments if you can, get some investments, put some money away if, you, if you're able to do it. Um, keep your head about you. Yeah, there's, there's many things. Um, but yeah, I'd say just ending off is plan a little bit better uh, for this type of thing. But also keep the faith, be hopeful. <laughs> I think a lot of us musicians are wishing we had planned a bit better. But then again, who is expecting a pandemic, a global pandemic of this size to actually hit the world? That's some great advice. Now, tell us a little bit where you're at. Um, you, uh, Sheldon, what's going on with you and your music? What are your plans? Where are you going from here on in? Well, not to answer that, I'm just going to carry on doing what I love doing. Continue to write music, continue to do shows. Um, continue to push to higher levels, um, focus more and more and more on original projects because I love writing original music. I want to get it out there more than the cover scene because I do cover music as well, which is I'm grateful for because it pays the bills. Uh, but my heart's desire and passion and true focus is to be an original artist full time. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to be positive and optimistic. I'm going to keep fighting. Um, uh, and see where the industry trends move and where I find myself in that industry. Um, so, yeah, just going to keep doing what I absolutely love. Um, you know, that's who I am. Well, that's amazing. And well done to you for having an attitude like that. Sheldon, thank you so much for joining us on Lockdown Radio today and uh, wishing you all the best in your endeavors and catching up with you for a beer or two at some point. Thank you so much, Noel, and um, great work with the show. I think it's awesome that you're doing this and uh, really supporting the artists. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of the artists as well. Thank you so much, and I have met you before, Noel. You're an absolutely top, top guy, man. Uh, you've got a great heart, and I'm um, looking forward <laughs> to uh, meeting up with you as well, and we can chat about some endeavors in the future. And uh, have a beautiful day, and uh, sending all my love and regards out to every single mus musician out there. Guys, keep strong, keep the faith. Keep believing in yourself, keep pushing, and just know that um, the sun's going to rise again and it's going to be even better. And we're going to come out victorious. Okay, man, love you all. There we go. Musician and entertainer extraordinaire Sheldon Disappearn joined me uh, on Lockdown Radio. 
and um you can follow him on facebook and catch his live streams as well very entertaining you are listening to you listening to you're listening to you listening to Noel Johnson Noel Johnson Noel Johnson on lockdown 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 radio 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 lockdown radio live today lockdown